Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool chocolate star bread. And to keep things simple, I'm going to use this packet of pizza base mix for the dough. Because they're small, I'm actually using three packets. I'm just tipping them into a bowl and following the instructions. You have to add water and knead them all together. If you prefer, you could make your own dough. I'd recommend using a brioche recipe. When you're done, sprinkle out some flour. And you need to chop the dough into four equal pieces. Then take one and roll it out nice and thinly, like this. Put a plate on top and cut out a circle. And we'll need to repeat this and do the same with the other three pieces. Next, take some Nutella and spread a layer all over the dough. To help it spread easier, I warmed up the jar first by sitting it in a bowl of hot water for five minutes. When you're done, put another layer of dough on top and repeat the process. Keep going until you put the final layer of dough on top. Then we need to carefully transfer it onto a tray with baking paper. Next, take a drinking glass and place it into the centre, like this. Then take a sharp knife and we need to cut it into sixteenths. I started with a quarter, then an eighth, then cut in the middle to give sixteenths. Work your way all around. Then remove the glass. Take a hold of two of the slices and very carefully twist them over, like this. When you're done, move on to the next two. And slowly work your way around. And there we go, doesn't that look cool? But finally, we're going to pinch the ends together like this. And there we have our chocolate star bread. Pretty cool, huh? Before we bake it, I'm giving it a quick coating with some egg white. Then it's ready to pop in the oven. I baked mine for about 15 minutes at 180 degrees centigrade. When it's nice and golden, take it out and it's ready to serve. It's delicious to eat while it's still warm, just tear a piece off, and it's perfect for sharing. Just try not to argue over who gets the middle bit. Next I'm going to show you how to make this really pretty tear and share Christmas tree pastry. Again, it's really easy to make. This time I'm using this ready-made puff pastry sheet. Open it up, and unroll it. Then take an oven tray and line it with baking paper. And carefully transfer on the puff pastry. Try and keep it nice and central. Next, gently use a knife to cut out a Christmas tree shape in the pastry. Then remove all the excess. Don't worry if it looks a little rough. We're going to be using Nutella again to fill our Christmas tree. So take a knife and spread a layer all over the pastry, like this. Don't forget if you warm the jar up slightly, you'll find it spreads a lot easier. I spread it all the way down the trunk and quite close to the edge all the way around. If you like, you can also take a packet of ground almonds and sprinkle some over the Nutella. This'll add some beautiful additional flavour. I'm also adding a little bit of ground cinnamon too, which is a lovely Christmas spice. When you're done, we need another sheet of puff pastry. Unroll it and carefully lie it over the top of it all, like this. Gently press down on the edges around the outline of the tree. Then use our knife again to cut around it. And remove the excess. Next we need to cut strips about one centimetre wide going each side of the tree like this. Again, don't worry if it doesn't look too uniform, it really doesn't matter. Then when you're done, starting from the bottom, take a branch twist it over twice and sit it back on the tray. We're going to repeat this process for every branch going all the way up one side, then down the other. We get this really beautiful symmetrical spiral effect. It looks great. And when you're done, you can use some of the pastry offcuts from before to make a star for the top of the tree. If you haven't got a star-shaped cutter, you can just use a knife. I'm taking a piece of chocolate, placing it in the centre, and I'm encasing it with more pastry. Then I placed it on top. It looks really cool and it's going to make a delicious treat. Before I bake it, I'm giving it a quick brush over with some milk. I went over the top of all the pastry, but do be careful not to smudge the Nutella. And when you're done, there it is. How cool is that? Now it's ready to bake. 
I baked mine at 200 degrees centigrade for about 18 minutes until it was golden brown. I love watching it rise in the oven. And once it's ready, remove it and carefully transfer it onto a board. And to finish it, I'm giving it a dusting of icing sugar. It's almost like snow. And it's ready to serve. Doesn't that look fantastic? It's another great one to share with friends and family. Just tear yourself off a branch. You get a twisted Nutella pastry stick. It's definitely best when it's still warm, but you can eat it cold too. And you can really taste the extra almonds in the cinnamon flavour. Next I'm going to show you how to make this amazing gingerbread hot chocolate. And I'll start by making my own gingerbread flavoured syrup. We're going to need nutmeg, a cinnamon stick, cloves, some golden caster sugar, and of course some fresh ginger. I used the back of a spoon to peel about an inch off. Then use a sharp knife to cut some nice thin slices. Next we need to take a pan, pour in about 250 millilitres of water, add three tablespoons of the sugar, one cinnamon stick, and some cloves. Then take a nutmeg and use a fine grater to grate some into a pan. Then finally add your slices of ginger. Turn on the heat and give it a good stir. When the pan starts to boil Turn down the heat, but leave it to simmer for about 5 minutes. We've infused all these lovely flavours into the water. Take it off the hob and leave it to cool down for about 5 minutes. Whilst it's sitting, you can use another pan and make yourself a nice hot chocolate. I like to make mine with milk, although you could use water. And use your favourite drinking chocolate. I like a nice dark, rich hot chocolate. So in fact I'm even going to add a few of these dark chocolate pieces into the pan. I'm stirring it into the milk and I'm letting it melt in. Oh look at that! Next I'm going to strain the gingerbread syrup. So I'm pouring mine out into a jug. There will still be small amounts of nutmeg that pass through the sieve but that doesn't really bother me. You can see it's a lovely rich dark colour and the sugar in it has made it slightly syrupy. So it's ready to serve. Fill up a mug with your hot chocolate and top it with the gingerbread flavouring. Give it a stir and you can add more or less depending on your taste. I'm going to finish it off with some squirty cream and a dusting of drinking chocolate. And I'm also going to pour on a little bit more of the syrup. Wow, now that's a hot chocolate. And I like to serve mine with a little gingerbread man on the side. Oh, that's delicious. You can really taste those Christmassy spices complemented by the chocolate. Beautiful gingerbread flavours. It also goes really well with marshmallows. I put a load on top and they all melt together, giving you a real treat. Perfect for dipping in a gingerbread man. If you've enjoyed this video, you might like to watch some of my others, which you can see by clicking on the links. Have fun, stay safe, and as always, thanks for watching.